Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial and today I'll be showing you how to get uh, the hypothermia mod pack. Now this is a really cool mod pack. Um, I've tested it out myself. I, I really want to make a series but I also already have one uh, which is my Wondercraft mod pack that I made my own. Uh, this one right here is really fun to play. So <laughs> go check that one out. Uh, it's on the curse launcher. So yeah, hypothermia. This, uh, I will be showing you how to get it today, and it's really, really simple. Um, what you need is the curse launcher, which is basically this. Um, it has a lot of different features to it, you know, adding friends, uh, having an account, uh, connecting it to your Steam. And hypothermia itself involves you kind of surviving in a kind of snowy, basically, terrain. Like, everywhere is just snow. And it's kind of like a... It's really cool. I don't know how to explain. But basically, like, you know how in the skyblocks you sieve dirt and things like that? In this, you sieve, you sieve snow to get, like, cobblestone pebbles and stuff. And basically, from there, you just make generators and uh, a lot of cool stuff like campfires and igloo huts. So, yeah, keep that in mind uh, if you want to go play this game. It's really fun. Um, but how do you get it? First, you need the launcher. So I'm going to show you how to search it, but the download link should be in my description. So you can check that one out too. But if you can't, if it doesn't work, just search Curse Voice. Curse Voice. Um, and it should be the one with the www.curse.com. So you click on that. And here's the page. So this page, uh, Curse is for a lot of games, not just Minecraft. It's for uh, Counter-Strike, League of Legends, Minecraft, Overwatch, Smite. World of Warcraft especially, and World of Warships. Now, depending on if the, you have these games downloaded on your computer, it will show up on that corner, which would be right here, just like how I have Minecraft right down, right in the corner over here. But yeah, you hover over games, and not download, but games, and select Minecraft. And it will bring you to this page, and this should be the page that my description will be giving it to you guys. You click download, and it, install a setup or kind of like a setup for it and you uh, double click that and have that set up you know pressing next and having it download onto your computer and then you choose if you want it on your desktop or wherever you want it on so after that you open it up and this basically needs you to make an account so I made my account dance soccer 254 and then another key aspect is you need the minecraft you need the Minecraft actual program on your computer. Like you need to have the paid version, not any cracked version, no crappy version, no Premiere. I don't even know what Premiere is. You need the $24 or $20 Minecraft in, um, down, downloaded on your computer with an account. So you find, um, you click on that, and this page is basically just showing you what mod packs you have. So keep it, that, keep that in mind. And you go on these three right here because it's going to be empty here. You can create your own custom profile, kind of something I use to make the Wondercraft, which is very cool. Let me know if you want a tutorial on how to make your own um, mod pack, because it's actually really easy. Browse the FTB mod packs. So those are uh, the Feed the Beast Launcher mods, and those are really good. So yeah, keep that in mind. Like the best mod packs around, basically. And browse all mod packs, which basically gives you a list of all the mod packs. And I don't think it's that popular yet, but it's definitely gonna get up there. It's really fun to play. So I'm gonna show you guys how. You search hypothermia. Oops, spelled it wrong. <laughs> Ignore that. And for now, it says play. But if it was just some random mod pack that you didn't have, it would show this. It'd say install. So you click install, and it'll show up here slowly installing and when playing uh this is what happens it basically opens up your minecraft launcher from the actual minecraft that you have and if you're not logged in it would have you uh log into your account so as you can see i'm already logged into my account and i just hit play and hitting play uh it just loaded up it took a good amount if it takes way too long, you should probably close it out. Like, if it takes, like, 10 minutes, definitely just know it's probably not working. 
and other than that I'd probably just stop trying like I have a pretty good computer so I don't really have that much problems with big mod packs but if you guys do sorry you might have like a laptop or something and also another key thing I think you guys need to know is it doesn't really work on Macs as far as I know it never really did now I'm not saying if you're a Mac user don't try please do try and tell me if it does work but other than that I hope you guys uh, find a way if it crashes um, maybe let someone know in the description because I have uh, viewers all the time help others out in the description in the comment section and if you guys found this tutorial helpful please let me know and I'll see you guys next time bye